Hey, long time no talk. How's life treating you these days? Hello, yeah, it's been a while. Life's been a bit complicated. To be honest, I'm married, but things are a bit rocky right now. I'm actually not living with my wife at the moment. Oh man, I had no idea. What's going on? You two seemed happy the last time we hung out. Yeah, things changed, you know. We started drifting apart. And it just got worse. We decided it might be best to take some time apart to figure things out. I'm really sorry to hear that. Relationships can be tough. Have you thought about trying to work things out? Maybe seeking some help? I've been considering it, but it's complicated. We both need space, and I'm not sure if we can get back to where we were. I get it. Relationships are complicated. But it's important to try, especially if you're married. Have you talked to her about how you feel? We've had some conversations, but they often end up in arguments. It's frustrating. I understand it's tough, but maybe instead of avoiding the issues, try addressing them head on. Marriage is a partnership, and communication is key. Maybe consider couples counseling? Couples counseling, huh? I never thought about that. Do you really think it could help? Absolutely. A professional can provide guidance and help both of you express your feelings. In a safe environment, it's worth a shot before making any major decisions. I guess you're right. I do miss the good times we had. And maybe with some help, we can get back there. That's the spirit. Don't give up without trying. You married her for a reason, right? Give it your best shot to make it work. It's worth fighting for. Yeah, you're right. I'll talk to her about counseling and see if she's open to it. Thanks for being there, man. It means a lot. Of course, I'm always here for you. Relationships have their ups and downs. But it's the effort you put into them that makes them stronger. Thanks, I appreciate your support. I'll bring up the idea of counseling and see how she feels about it. It's just been tough. You know, balancing work, personal life, and then dealing with relationship issues on top of it all. I can imagine it's overwhelming. But addressing these challenges head on is crucial. Don't forget the good times you shared and the reasons you chose to commit to each other. It's easy to get lost in the difficulties, but remember, love is a powerful thing. You're right. I guess it's just been hard to see past the current struggles. I'll try to focus on the positive aspects and work towards a solution. And don't forget to actively listen to each other sometimes. We get so caught up in our own perspectives that we forget to truly hear what the other person is saying. It's a two-way street. True. I need to work on that for sure. Maybe counseling can help us communicate better and understand each other's needs. Exactly. A counselor can provide a neutral space where both of you can express yourselves without judgment. It's a chance to rebuild and strengthen your connection. I never thought I'd be in this situation, you know. Marriage is supposed to be a lifelong commitment, but it's challenging. It is, and you're not alone in feeling that way. Many couples face difficulties, and what's important is how you navigate through them. It's a journey, and sometimes seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. I appreciate your perspective. It's giving me some hope. I'll talk to her soon and suggest counseling. Maybe we can turn things around. That's the spirit. Remember, it's a process, and changes won't happen overnight. Take it one step at a time and be patient with yourselves. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. It's just hard not having her around every day. You know, I miss the companionship. I can imagine absence can make the heart grow fonder. But it's also an opportunity to appreciate what you have. Maybe this time apart will help you both rediscover the reasons you fell in love in the first place.
I hope so. Thanks for being a good friend and talking me through this. It means a lot. Anytime, buddy. Friends support each other through thick and thin. I'm rooting for you and your marriage. Thanks. That really means a lot. I'm going to do my best to make things right. I just hope she's willing to give it a shot too. It takes two to make a relationship work, but the effort you put in can be contagious. Lead by example. Show her your commitment to making things better, and it might inspire her to do the same. You're right. I'll approach this with a positive mindset and a determination to rebuild our connection. It's just a matter of finding the right words to express how I feel. Communication is key. Be open, honest, and empathetic. Let her know that you miss her, not just the routine or familiarity, but her as a person. That emotional connection is what makes a marriage strong. I'll keep that in mind. I guess I've been so focused on the problems that I haven't been expressing my feelings properly. It's time to change that. It's never too late to change and grow. Relationships go through ups and downs, but they can also evolve and become stronger through challenges. Don't lose sight of the potential for growth. I appreciate your optimism. It's uplifting, especially when I've been feeling so down about all of this. It's good to have a friend who sees the silver lining. We all go through tough times, and it's okay to lean on friends for support. That's what we're here for. Just remember, even the darkest nights eventually lead to dawn. Thanks, friend. I'll take your advice to heart. I'll initiate that conversation and suggest counseling. Hopefully, we can start the process of healing. You got this. And if you need any help or advice along the way. I'm just a phone call away. Don't hesitate to reach out. I won't forget that. Thanks again for being there for me. It means more than words can express. Anytime, my friend. Wishing you strength, understanding, and a path to rediscover the joy and love that brought you together in the first place. Take care, and let's catch up soon. Definitely, I'll keep you posted. Take care too. And thanks again for everything.